Now, Isaiah 48, verse number 3. Isaiah 48, verse number 3. The title of our message today is You are at the edge of your breakthrough. You are at the edge of your breakthrough. Amen. So the Bible says, New King James Fashion, please. You may take another New King James Fashion. Amen. So it says, I have declared the former things from the beginning. They went forth from my mouth and I caused them to hear it. Suddenly I did them and they came to pass. Hallelujah. That is God. That is God. That is an introduction <laughs> of our God when he wanted to bless us, when he wants to bless us. Amen? There are many things that God has declared and has said from the beginning. And they have come to pass suddenly. Amen? So your breakthrough is going to come to pass suddenly. Because there is a God who, God who speaks and he is speaking. And he, had, he does things suddenly. Amen. You may have waited for a very long time for a miracle. Amen. You may have. You may have. God may have spoken. Has, may have given a vision in your life. Or a dream in your life. But it has not happened. But it's the, it's God, the God who spoke it. Eh? He is here in it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He spoke. And you remember, it's the same God who spoke the world into being. The same God who spoke creation into being is the same God who is speaking today. And he says eh, that eh, he says that I have declared the former things from the beginning and they went forth out of my mouth and showed them I did them suddenly and they came to pass they came to pass that is God and he's talking to us from the beginning in regard to the creation from the beginning in regard to creation it actually means the former things means eh, the form, those things that were he is God who spoke things that were. Huh? And he is the same today, yesterday, and forever. As in the Bible say in Isaiah 46 and verse number 9 and 10. Remember the former things. The former things of old. For I am God and there is no other. I am God, and there is no none other like me, declaring the end from the beginning. He is the one who declares the end from the beginning. And the Bible says, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pressure. We're talking about God. Hajakosa kuwa mungu. Yule mungu alie nena. Yule mungu alie nena mambo na yakawa. Siku hii leo ananena na kusema ya kwamba hmm? anakujua anakupenda haleluya ana, na ni Mungu huwa anajibu maombi amen our breakthrough was spoken about Mungu alinena ni neno hilo Mungu alise, alinena ambalo tunalisungumza juu ya yale mambo tuko nayo kama vile tulifanya ibada ya kwanza Biblia inasema Inasema, Jehovah Inasema, remember the former things Kubuka hizo maneno Kubuka mimi ndiyo uanza Yeye ndiyo usema Muanzo na ukawa muanzo Na mwisho ukawa mwisho Si Biblia inasema He is Alpha and Omega The beginning and the end Hallelujah He is the ancient of days He will accomplish what he purposes Mungu haja Haja kuwa siya mungu. Huyo mungu chochote lolote ambalo anelishema. Juu ya maisha yako itakuja kutimia. Ambia mwezako itakuja kufanya nini? Kutimia. Mungu haja sahawigi. Si mtu 
God is not a man. Hallelujah. Numbers 23 and part number 19. Yeah? God is not a man that he should deny. Neither is he a son of man that he should repent. Have he said <clears throat> he shall not do it? Yani ya mesema hatafanya. Haja sema hatafanya. Mungu yale alishema. Itafanyika, itafanyika. Usichoke dugu yangu, dada yangu. God has spoken. He is not a liar. He is a good God and he is in the process of doing good things in your life. He is a good God. He is a faithful God. Leo ni mekuja kumtetea huyu mungu. Yale alishema kukuhuzu. Yataenda kutimia. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. Yale alienena kutoka muanzo. Kwa sababu ye ni muanzo mpaka ata mpaka hadi mwisho itakuja kutimia Go, uh, be encouraged this day that the same god the same god the creator of heaven and earth wenye alishema eh, na dunia ikawa mwenye alishema na hata jua likaja mwenye aliongea na mambo yakatendeka je yule mungu ambaye tunaye muomba umeomba siku nyingi umeomba siku nyingi hata umetoa siku nyingi na yale ume, umetolea hayajafanyika nimekuja kukuhimisa wakati huu na kukuencourage ya kwamba Mungu hujibu maombi Mungu hujibu maombi he answers prayers God answers prayers haleluya ndiye huyo Mungu ninaye sema juu yake ina depend na mimi na wewe tujiweke sababa na kuamini yule Mungu aliyeongea atatenda kuna wimbo unaenda hivyo Aliyesema basi agai unachukua mic unakaa naye. Aliyesema atatenda. Haleluya. Huyu Mungu aliyesema atatenda. I have come to encourage somebody that you are in the edge of you are breakthrough right now in the name of Jesus Christ. He is a God of breakthrough. He is a God of breakthrough in your life. Today you are going to receive that which you intended from God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ because he is not a man. The Bible says in Joshua 21 and verse number 15 hapo, hallelujah that not one aha, Joshua 21 hallelujah not one what of all good promises hallelujah that the Lord that the Lord had made to the house of Israel had failed, all came to pass. Hakuna neno. Hilo, hiyo imefanyika wakiwa kanani. Amen. Na Joshua mesimama na kasema, sikizeni watu wa mungu. Aha. Hakuna promise ata moja. Ambaye mungu alisema, ambaye haikutimia. Na hata kuwa kwa siku hii ya leo. Hakuna jabu wabaye mungu wa mesema. Kukuhuzu ambaye haitatimia katika jina la Yesu. Uweda ikaonekana kana imeka. Lakini ni mekuja kukuambia. Mungu wetu hakibi. Wara mungu wetu haedi pore pore. Yeye si kinyonga. Yeye ni mungu. Yale ya mesema ya tatimia. Pigia Yesu makovi. And then somebody said, as long as God promised. You know when God speaks, anything that God speaks is a vow. Anything that God speaks is a promise. This word of God is full of promises. God is a promise keeper. He is a covenant keeping God. He follows his word to perform it. It shall happen in your life. Whatever God said, as long as God said, Aha, kama mungu alisema Aha, kama mungu alisema Itakuja kutimia Kama mungu alikuahidi Itatakuja kufanya Kama mungu amesema atakuponya Ataenda kukuponya Kama mungu amesema atakuinua Ataenda kukuinua Haijarishi ni suku ngapi imepita Lakini nimekuja kukutangazia Huyu mungu hataganyi Huyu mungu wakuragi ugali Huyu mungu siye mungu tu aliyesema atatimiza atakuja kutimiza katika maisha yako wewe ukiona na macho yako pigia Yesu makovi atatimiza 
atasimiza hata hacha ya moyo wako atatenda yale alisema akisema ametenda huenda ukashekerewa na watu huenda ukaona watu wakaona kama yeye ni bure mimi nakwambia stand still and see the salvation of the lord haleluya mtumaini huyu Mungu yeye yeah, ni mponya hapa bali tulisoma amen akawaambia wana wa Israeli hiyo ilikuwa prophecy akawaambia in Isaiah 48 and verse number 3 akasema yeye haleluya yeye ndiye alitenda yale mambo ya zamani i foretold former things long ago my mouth pronounced it my mouth spoke forth and the things happen and these those things happened suddenly even that which he spoke over your life it shall come to pass and it shall come to pass suddenly because he is god the same today yesterday and forever he does not forget hallelujah he does not eat ugali bwana yesu asifiwe sana god is not like a man he who disappoints people but god is a god who follows his word to perform it he told the children of israel ah, and he promised that i will protect you i will protect you i will fight for you i will fight with you and we have seen he has done it up to today kuna ushuhuda mungu amepigania wana wa israeli mpaka dakika hii hajachoka na hatachoka na huyo Mungu ataendelea kukupigania haijarishi unapitia hali gani haijarishi uko katika fare gani haijarishi waliongea namna gani haijarishi daktari alisema namna gani haijarishi unaendea hali gani siku hii ya leo haijarishi maneno yako ya kesho baada labda uchui kesho itakuwaache nimekuja kutangazia there is a promise keeper there is a covenant keeping god yale alisema atakuja kutimiza yeye ni mungu wa kutimiza ahadi na anaenda kutimiza ahadi yako Woo, glory glory to god hallelujah abraham as long as there was a promise yeye yeah, aliendelea kutazamia munchi ambaye si muumba si binadamu as long as god has said abraham hata wakati ameingia katika uzee ka, ka sababu mungu alisema yeye yeah, hakurudi nyuma mimi nakutangazia ya kwamba as long as there is a god and god said something hallelujah about your life he will accomplish it he will accomplish it in your time ah nataka kukutangazia you shall not die before he accomplishes what he said about you hallelujah hautakufa mpaka uone na uguze yale mungu alikuahidi hautakufa hallelujah abraham alifika pahari kweli wakimwangalia namna hii kweli amezeeka lena mkawaka naitwa nani sara naye amezeeka hakuwezi kupatikana watoto mimba ilikuwa imekufa lakini huyo Mungu huwa anafufua mimba huyo Mungu anayefufua mimba huyo Mungu aliye na nguvu na uweza anatimiza handi wewe anakutimizia handi doa yako itasimama ana alisema hakuna mwanamke ambaye hajaubiwa mwanamume mimi natangaza siku hii ya leo hata wewe utapata mume hata wewe utapata mume pia hizo makofi haleluya alafu wewe mwanamume amesema it is not good for a man to live alone mema Mungu alisema hivyo kuletea mtu katika jina la Yesu Mungu ana uwezo mwingi Haleluya Bwana Yesu asifiwe na akikuletea utajua mimi nakwambia akikuletea utajua hata utasema this is the bone of my bone the flesh of my flesh utajua Haleluya 
Ambia mwenzako kama haja hawa hapo. Mwambie utamujua. Utamtambua. Haleluya. Na utasema, "Hey, hii ni nyama ya nyama yangu. Hii ni fupa ya fupa yangu." Na kuambia hivyo kwa sababu Adam hakuwa ameona if lakini alipoamuka kutoka kwa usikizi akasema, "Kweli hii ni fupa ya fupa yangu. Kweli hii ni nyama ya nyama yangu." Na ametoka kulala. Ametoka kulala. Haleluya. Mimi nawaambia hivi. Huyo Mungu ni naye, ni naye tangaza mambo yake. Anakujua. Anakujia. Si amesema ameandika jina lako katika panja la mkono wake. Ndio asiweze kusahau. Hata kusahau. Has he not said I will never leave you nor will I forsake you. Hata kama unazikia kama unaupweke, mimi nakuja kukatangazia ako hapo. Haleluya. Hata kama unasikia uko na upweke na kutangazia Mungu wako hapo. Ako na wewe. Haleluya. Kama unaamini Mungu wako na wewe sema haleluya. Ako hapo. Haja kusahau hata kama unapitia magumu even if you are in the valley of the shadow of death. I tell you the truth my brother, my sister, my child. I tell you hako hapo haja kusahau. Na yeye ni mzuri si kama mtu. Watu wakikusahau, yeye hakusahau. Has he not said? Hallelujah. Can a mother, a mother, a mother can forsake a child they have brought up ama wamezaa. Lakini Mungu mwenyewe hataweza kukusahau. Mi nakuambia mama anaweza sahau mtoto wake na mtupe mtoto wake lakini Mungu hawezi kukutupa usidanganywe na mtu hakuna watu wako supa kushida wengine hata wewe uko na Mungu uko na Mungu hakuna mtu supa sisi zote you are not a respectable person doesn't matter whether you have doesn't matter whether you are short whether you have you are big whether you are small doesn't matter whether you are you have money or you don't have money god is for us all hallelujah doesn't matter kuna watu wamekuambia wakakuambia mambo mengi akakuambia wewe sijui wewe ni kanyangalika hoi hoi hakuna chako kizuri mimi nataka kukutangazia eh huyo mungu abaye uko naye ashidwi kama wewe umeshidwa ni wewe umeshidwa lakini Mungu hashidwi Mtasamie huyu Kuna wimbo unasema mtasamie huyu aliyeangikwa juu ndio uweze kupata ishi. Usitazamie mtu hata kama hata kama anakujaga anapea anatuma watu na vifurushi mimi nakwambia eh hey! utegemee Mungu Haleluya Yari alisema atakuja kuyatimiza. Yeye alisema atakubariki. Muibaji akasema akisema atakubariki, atakubariki. Akisema atakuinua, atakuinua. Hata wengine wote wakikataa, wameze wembe. Aseme wewe ni bule, wewe ni pasta hohe hohe, wewe ni bure. Mungu akitaka kukubariki, atakubariki. Na akisema amesema, ambia mwenzako akisema amesema. Do you know? Huyu Mungu huwezi kumhonga. Huyu haongagwi. Kwa hiyo ni wangu saidi. Na ni wako saidi. Haijarishi uko na. Haijarishi umetoka wewe ni kabila gani? Haijarishi wewe umetoka kirani gani? Ame haijarishi. Eh? Jabedi alikuwa ametoka kwa kwa Manase. A very rich tribe. Hata ionekanaje sana. Ukisoma kwa Biblia utaipata sana Manase. Na huyo jamaa alikuwa ametoka kwa Manase na alioba obi. La maneno less than 10. That you may bless me indeed. Hesabu hiyo ni gapi? That you may bless me indeed. Maombi hayo nafikiria 
maneno kama matano hivyo naye Mungu wa Israeli alijibu akiwa mbinguni na kuambia hakuangalia kama Jabeth alikuwa ametoka at kwa manase tribe kadogo sana haijarishi umetoka wapi haijarishi kabisa kabisa umezaliwa wapi kwa kilani gani huyo Mungu wa ma, huyo Mungu huyo Mungu aliyekuwa na Jabesi ni Mungu wako Mungu huyo aliyekuwa na Yusufu ni Mungu wako haikujarisha ya kwamba eh hey, ndugu za Yusufu hawakumtaka wakamuuza haijarishi kama ndugu zako wanakuuza na hawakutaki mimi nakutangazia huyo Mungu hana ubagusi huyo Mungu huwezi kumhonga huyo ni Mungu ambaye anaangalia haki yake na analida haki yake na ni Mungu wako ni Mungu wako haijarishi uko washini kiasi gani ataenda kukuinua Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Amen. Nakujaga karibu hapa kwa sababu iko jua. Iko jua sana. Na ikiwa jua kuna watu wanasikiza wamefunga macho. Haleluya. Huyo Mungu wa Jabes. Huyo Mungu wa Yusufu ndiye Mungu wako siku hii ya leo. Yale alisema kukuhusu yatakuja kutimia. Na Biblia inasema yatatimia tena haraka ambia mwenzako yanatimia tena haraka mpaka watu wa kuangalie wazeme waseme wewe umeiba wataenda kusema labda uliiba wataenda kusema labda labda ulishukua loni wataanza kusema yale wamesema lakini wameruhuziwa lakini huyo Mungu atakuinua mpaka wenye wako na jerase usionekane watu wa jerase sionekane katika jina la Yesu badala washangilie Mungu pamoja nawe wanaanza kukushiba wanaanza kutafuta ulitoa wapi mimi nawatangazia wameshindwa neno la Mungu linasema yeye yako katika minachi ya kuada mesa 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 mbele ya watezi wako na mimi nakwambia utakula wakiangalia wenye wivu wataangalia wenye wivu Now I'm talking about God or breakthrough you are at the edge of your breakthrough you are at the edge of your breakthrough wacha nikuambie vile ilifanyika kwa wana wa Israeli amen haleluya fero anakibisana nao kabisa fero fero na askari wake walibadilisha nia kwa sababu ni watu wakaanza kukibisana na wale na wale wana wa Israeli kwa sababu walikumbuka walichukua dhahabu zote walikumbuka ya kwamba tutafanywa kazi na nani walikumbuka usaidizi utatoka wapi wakabadilisha nia kwa sababu ni watu wakakibisana na fero na, na, na wana wa Israeli mimi nakwambia baraka zao was at the edge the edge hapo wamefika mbele yao kabisa ni ni red sea kado na kado ni nyika nyuma yao wamekibiswa breakthrough yao ilitoka wapi ilitoka pahali hakugetoka kitu mimi nataka kukueleza katika hii waziwa hau kuna mtu akifikiria ya kwamba kunaweza kuwa na jia jia ndani ya mto mimi nataka kukueleza breakthrough yako iko pahali hapa wewe churikana pahali uwezi jua pahali uwezi jua you are the edge at the edge of your breakthrough haijarishi pahali natoka hata hawa na waisraeli hawakujua ya kwamba kunawezekana kuwe na jia katika ziwa mimi nakwambia bwana anakutengenezea jia katika hiyo ziwa He is the same God. Pigia Yesu makofi. Hallelujah. Woo! Glory to God. Hey, baraka zako zinatoka pahali wewe uwezi fikiria, lakini kwa sababu Mungu alisema, akaambia wana wa Israeli, I will protect you as long as there is a promise, there is a way. Hey. Promises of God. The Bible says aye and amen. Hiyo ni kusema zimetimia. 
Haleluya. Kitu kusema amen ni kusema so be it. So wakati Biblia inasema the promises of God are ye. Ni kusema ni dio. Dio. Dio ni kusema zimetimia. Kusema tu namna hiyo zimetimia. Na hiyo kitu kingine ni amen. Kwa sababu aliogea na akabia Ibrahim na uzao wake ya kwamba I will protect you. I will be together with you. I will fight together with you. Hakuna wakati hangekubali. Hey, wana wa Israeli wakufe nyikani. Hangekubali. Na hata sasa Yesu akasema nitakuwa na wewe baka mwicho wa lahari. I will protect you. I will be together with you. I will be your God. Hallelujah. Hata hivyo wewe hautatokomea. Hata hivyo wewe utapokea baraka zako kama unaamini inua mkono useme yes hey as long as there is a promise hallelujah as long as there is a promise there is a breakthrough where there is a promise there is a breakthrough where there is a promise there is a breakthrough pia makovi yes mungu wa breakthrough he is a god of miracles God of miracles. Wewe ni nani anaamini huamini miracles? Eh? Now you are at the edge of your miracle. You are at the edge of your breakthrough right now. Right now. Ni wagabe wanaamini kuna Mungu aliogea. Kama Mungu anaongea juu yako. Kama Mungu amesema by the stripes of Jesus you are healed. That is a promise. Kama Mungu amesema you shall be heard and not a tail that is a promise kama mungu amesema i'll be together with you that is a promise so as long as there is a promise hallelujah there is breakthrough today you are at the edge of your breakthrough huyo mungu aliyesema alisema kutoka kale alitenda kuto yale mambo yote alisema yametimika na akasema i will i did them suddenly Suddenly in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you will receive your healing. Suddenly in the name of Jesus Christ you shall only receive your miracle. Suddenly in the name of Jesus Christ doors shall open. Suddenly in the name of Jesus Christ doors shall open in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm speaking to you now. Now, now relationships will come in the name of Jesus Christ. There is a lady that suddenly was blessed with ba- with boss Suddenly, suddenly, Ooh-wee. suddenly, suddenly, Esther, suddenly, Esther, who was a slave girl, became the owner of a, uh, of a farm, eh? Of a farm, P.S. Makovi. I'm talking of that God, God of Esther, God of Esther, hallelujah. She was a slave girl, but suddenly, suddenly she became the owner of the, owner of the farm yeye yeah, akapinduka yeah, pande ile ingine akaanza kuajiri watu mimi nakutangazia wewe uliajiriwa suddenly utaanza kuajiri watu suddenly haleluya suddenly uliyekuwa unapigiwa kupigiwa mulango na lord lord suddenly Suddenly you will be a lord lord a lord lord Big Jesus Makobi Hallelujah Hayo mambo ninasema wewe ukiaona kama ni gumu mimi nakuambia kwa Mungu si gumu Hallelujah Huyu huyu msichana ambaye anaitwa Esther Alienda kuota hata siku moja ya kwamba anaweza own the lad ya Boaz eh aliota eh eh yes na esta ni wana ni wa mfarme esta ni wa mfarme yes 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 amen na huyu ruth alikuwa ameota hata siku moja hata wakati anafukuzwa na naomi naomi wewe unafukuzaga watu yani ali alipokuwa anafukuzwa na Naomi 
Wee enda oleka. Mimi sina. Mimi sina. Sina watu wa kukua. Wee enda. Wakati kama huo. Na na. Na anafua tamadhi. Halikuwa kweli anafikiria. Anaweza honu lahati. Anaweza honu hata boazi. Hali honu lahati. Na haka honu boazi. Na haka waka 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 najua. Lakini na kakitu kalishema. Kaka sema. You are God. Shall be my God. You are God. You are people shall be my people. Saa hiyo, you are people shall be my people. Kumbe saa hiyo, hilo neno limenaza nani? Sema Boaz. Limenaza Boaz. You are people shall be my people. You are God shall be Boaz akanaswa na hilo neno. Nena neno hilo juu ya matatizo yako. Nena neno la Mungu juu ya matatizo yako. Na yatatimia. Kalisema tu namna hiyo. Na kamemaliza. Huyu Ruth hakusema mambo mengi alisema tu hivyo hakufukusika kuna maneno unasema hata chetani hawezi kukutoa kwayo hiyo maneno hata chetani hageweza kutoa Ruth your god shall be my god na watu wameangalia hiyo na wajui inatoka wapi amen wanaandika kila bahari amen na ni vizuri kuandika lakini ujue hayo maneno Dio yali Mungu aliyachukua akatengeneza jia mpaka akanaza Boaz. Boaz alikuwa amekaa kwa muda mrefu sana. Dio hayo maneno yafanye nini? Hata Boaz alizao. Alikaona sijuka ukisoma hiyo story utaona. Boaz ali ali aliambia hawa watu wafanye kazi akawaambia sikizeni bwana. Eh, haka kasichana kama kuja haka kaachi yageni eh msitoe yote mnawacha stocks zingine za gano hivi ndio kaokote wapate kitu ya kukula alikaonea huruma niliuliza niliuliza kijana mwingine nikamuuliza amenieletea msichana pale nikamuuliza huyu ulimpenda wewe wewe umempenda ama muonea huruma alafu akaniambia si Vile umesema sijui kweli kama ni huruma lakini mtu nasikia nasikia tu kumsaidia unasikia kumsaidia Amen Kwa hivyo saa zingine saa zingine wewe unaweza uki, unaweza kukuta unahurumia mtu tu kumbe si kumhurumia ni kumpenda unampenda Sasa Nikamuuliza then are you are you, are you serious are you lady kuendelea kumhu kumhurumia siku hizo zote na hii ni doa mnakuja kuniambia akasema mimi naona ni mimi mimi pata pata mimi naona 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 nitafumilia nitaendelea labda hii inaweza kuwa upendo baadaye aliendelea huruma hmm. haleluya naye Mungu ni nani wamekosana kidogo tu akija ni wauliza nilikwambia kama unampenda ukasema ni huruma hata sasa umhurumie rudi nyumbani na ikaenda namna hiyo mpaka sasa wako na watoto na wanaendelea na huruma amen saa zingine ni saa zingine ni kali saa zingine ni kali unaweza kujikuta lakini huruma inakuja kwa upendo ambia mwenzako sawa amen Uende usiweke a dividing line between huruma na upendo lakini zote zinaendaga pamoja. Amen. Haleluya. Sasa huyu Boaz alitoka wapi katika maisha ya Ruth? Hai. Maneno kidogo yani aliogea aliogea kutoka kwa moyo wake akasema you are God shall be. You are people shall be. Mungu kupitia hilo neno akatafuta kamoja katika mboma hiyo ya ya kina Naomi na akapatikana kabio goja na umi. goja ruth goja ruth anakuja goja ruth amen na ruth yakagojwa kukawa na huruma kidogo after huruma kidogo kube ikaonekana si huruma huyu ruth akawa sasa eh haikuja ugewa sana mambo mengi sana ya, ya boas lakini ningetaka kujua huyo boas kama ni huruma haleluya kama ni upendo lakini whatever it is mimi nataka kukueleza ya kwamba ilitendeka hivyo kwa na, kwa Ruth 
na itatendeka kwako mi nakwambia itatendeka kwako we niangalie ni mshana ni karibu za saba za hii mi nakwambia mark my words today the god of ruth is your god today and he will bring forth a boss a boss in your life hallelujah the god of ruth is your god today and he will bring forth your boss hey Beautiful. Beautiful. Continue believing. Ambia mwanzo continue believing. God is our God of breakthrough. He is gonna he is gonna bring a breakthrough in your life. The God of breakthrough, he is gonna bring a breakthrough upon your life. This man, this man, this is our in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your breakthrough. Receive your breakthrough in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu atufie sana. Nilikuwa nataka tuibe God of miracles. Alafu sasa tufanye nini? Most of the time when I'm finishing, a guy is not there. So come 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 help me. Tutaiba simama. Mimi nataka uamini Mungu. Uamini Mungu. Bahari uko. Ya kwamba siku hii ya leo ni siku ya breakthrough yako. Nataka ufanye hivyo. Simama pahali uko saa hii. Hey! Wewe ndio unajua nataka breakthrough ya nini? Wewe tu ndio unajua. Hey, hey piga piga hii. 